So if we were standing in your physical shoes, the things that we would have gotten that we feel that we could go home and apply are these. I can control the way I feel regardless of what's going on. And I seek to do that because the way I feel is everything. My emotions let me know my relationship with everything that I want. And when I control my emotion, I control my relationship with everything that I want. There is no other factor that exists anywhere in my time, space, reality or elsewhere that affects the way things come to me or don't. I am singularly responsible and singularly in control of everything that happens in my experience. I have the ability to look at what is in a way that doesn't please me or I have the ability to look at what is in a way that does please me. Whether I'm focused, past, present or future, I'm doing it all right now. And my relationship with the opinion of my source on those same subjects is active within me right now and giving me feedback. When I feel exhilaration, I am in complete harmony with the opinion of my source. And the opinion of my source is what? What is the opinion of my source? What is it the source is really reaching for with me? What does source most want relative to me? Source wants me to be the recipient of everything that I've been asking for. And source is so determined that I will have that success that source never strays from an understanding or from a focus upon exactly what I am wanting. So much so that my emotion lets me know when someone has strayed and every single time it's me. <laughs> and I know what to do about it now. Go general. The more specific I get, the more I stray. The more general I get, the more I come back into alignment. So I'm going to come into alignment and then I'll stray a little and then I'll come into alignment and I'll stray a little until I have tuned my frequency to the frequency of source, to the opinion of source, to the knowing of source, to the expectation of source on everything that is important to me. And when I achieve a chronic, consistent expectation that matches the expectation that source holds for me on the subjects that matter to me. Now the grid fills in, the grid fills in, the grid fills in, the grid fills in. And people who are watching me are watching in amazement. Who are you? They say, how is it that you barely express your desire for something and someone walks up with you to a very clear cut path for the receiving of it? And you say, I am the keeper of my promise to the source within me. I said, I'll go forth and sift and sort and I will carve out lanes of expansion for all of us. And the source within me said, and I will follow the track of your desire and I will hold to the frequency of that. And I will send a signal that is so bright about that, that you can't miss it because you will always feel emotion around something that matters to you. The guidance will always be there. Strong emotion indicates it really matters. Strong negative emotion means I'm off the track. Strong positive emotion means I'm on the track. We think your guidance system is perfect and we think you have been playing it out in a perfect way. We think that the world that is before you is a very bright world. We think the world that is here right now is just exactly right. We think that you are the creator of your own experience and we think that right now, this very moment, you know that in a more vivid way than you've ever known it before. The second thing that we think that you've gathered from this is that at least it's what we would have wanted to take away from it if we were standing in your physical shoes. Contrast, every bit of it is a good thing. And when I stand in a place that didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to, or even I thought maybe it should have, that rather than beating up on myself about the incompletion of this desire, instead, I'm going to take this contrast as the exact thing that it is more information for meaningful expansion, because it means there's something in my vortex that this new contrast is going to help me to sort out. You're the creator of your experience. You are not a regurgitator. You're not a puppet on a string. You are the creator of your experience. Do you get that? And don't you want the information with which to create? And don't you like the support that we all provide once you've carved it out? Don't you really like it that there's someone that says, 
well, you've forgotten, but you really, really want this. And you've forgotten this, but you really, really want this too. And you might have forgotten about that, but in the third grade, you decided that you really, really wanted that. And, and you really, really want this, and you want this, and you want this, and you want this, and it's all here. And it all is in harmony with itself. In other words, there's nothing that's in your vortex that's out of character or out of vibrational alignment with everything else. We've enjoyed this interaction immensely. There is great love here for you. And it is our continuing promise to you that we will stand fully informed and fully aware in your vortex, understanding where you are in direct relationship with every single thing that you want, speaking loudly with everything that we have, but it's a vibrational voice that you have to feel for. And we are confident that you have the tools with which to do that. There is great love here for you and we remain effortlessly in the vortex. <laughs>